very quickly, I will say that Ashley was born in Harvard, Massachusetts. She lives there still. Uh, she used to do things like build forts and play pretend with imaginary friends. Uh, currently, she is a high school senior and she's taking college courses at the same time and being a singer-songwriter performing out there. And she's just recently started writing and performing her songs and she uh, has created her first <coughs> CD, which I believe she has some available today. And the title song on that CD has uh, been picked up for a song in an independent film. And she has been offered a, a, by Elite Artist Series, a radio station for a year. And I know that there's more also. She's been featured in the Metronome and the Worcester Pulse magazine. So I am very much looking forward to and happy to introduce. Please help me welcome Ashley Jordan. I'm really, really honored to be here today. I, I've been coming to HCAM for a while and um, I realized how much of a community um, this is and I've just met some really great people. Um, you guys are my people. <laughs> so um, my school is very academic and uh, there's not much music. I can only say I really have one uh, music friend, which is Jackie, who just helped me with the stool. <laughs> um, and she says, she comes up to me in the hall, she's like, all right, Ash, when's the next gig? Um, I'm coming, pick me up. and we we go to gigs, so uh, it's been great. My parents are really supportive, so uh, um, my first song is called Liquid Words. Um, I've been recording it in the studio in Boston for a compilation CD coming out soon, so uh, I hope you like it. Like rain, but it feels like pain is aching in 
Thank you. So, um, I don't know if it's on actually. Check, check, check. There we go. Well, I hope you heard me the first time. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, this next song is uh, very new. Um, a lot of times what happens is I'll write a song and um, at my house everyone just walks in while I'm playing and my brother is like, what, 24 now? <laughs> and he'll, he'll come in and he'll sit on the couch and he'll say, all right, you play me three songs of my choice and I'll, I will make you lunch. And I'm like, well, <laughs> grilled cheese, you know? And, and he's like, all right, okay. And what's funny is I would have done it anyways without the grilled cheese, but you know, he, he just makes a thing out of it now, so. <laughs> and this was the song that I played for him, so this is called Truth Be Told. It's just about nine o'clock I think it's time to say goodbye I know for me it will be the last date Do I feel sad? No Cause deep inside Works fine for me every time Read the signs I tell you it's not you, it's me Count to three, apologize Cause I think it's right Cause I don't wanna Hey, it's me. I 
I'm sorry again, it's 12 a.m. Good night. Say goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so this next song uh, I've played out a few times um, recently, but I wrote it uh, about a year ago. Um, but it was really hard for me to play out. Um, it's called Phoebe Prince, and I wrote it for uh, Phoebe Prince of South Hadley. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard a lot about bullying and um, the stuff going on in the news, and it's um, it's really heartbreaking. Uh, I was going through uh, some similar problems in school, and um, when I heard of Phoebe's story, it really, uh, really impacted me. It really struck me, and um, I wrote this about her uh, and for her. I think um, a lot what people should understand is that uh, bullies can um, really make people feel alone, uh, and that's kind of what this song it talks about. Thank you. 
this uh, next song certainly has a, a story to it. Um, so a couple weeks back, I was contacted by uh, two singer-songwriters, two brothers, called the Van Pazels from Belgium. Um, so this was very interesting, I thought to myself. And um, So they had heard a version of the cover I do, You Are Not Alone, which is made famous by uh, Michael Jackson. And what it turns out to be is that they are actually the real writers, uh, composers of, of the song, You're Not Alone. And R. Kelly, I don't know if he stole it, but he um, used the melody and put his words to it. And uh, Michael Jackson uh, took the song and he made it a number one song. And um, they, uh, uh, last year in Belgium courts, won back the rights to their song. So I guess they were looking through uh, registered um, songs that people did of the cover, You're Not Alone. And uh, they found mine, and they really liked the uniqueness of it. And um, they asked me to um, play a song and, and learn a song that they are working on called It's That Smile. And uh, they wanted me to take it and kind of make it my own. And so I think that's kind of what I did with it. And I changed some words and gave it my own, what they call Americanized version of the song. So. Um, I've been uh, recording a demo with Steve Rapson, and uh, I really love the sound of it. And he got Matt Leavenworth to come in with violin, and it just sounded, I mean, he's not here right now, but that'd be really cool if he was. <laughs> I'll tell you where the parts are where he does not I can't, I can't make the sound with my voice, but if I could, I would. Um, <laughs> so I hope you like it. Here's It's That Smile.
the time go is it all memory does anybody know is it a momentary thing like a bee that flies and stings then floats along soon to be gone memories begin in still what is of our soul and when we gaze within Well, they ripple and they flow Into everything we know And hope And dream All our remembering Although we come and go Time will always flow Philosophers through ages tell us so Our souls may carry on Time traveling along Into eternity Go all our memory Our memory Seems like a hill We slide On down until We find We at the end And we can't go up again One ride is all we get On earth And yet Time is infinite Yes, we come and go But time will always flow Philosophers through ages tell us so Our souls, they may go on Time traveling along Into eternity Go all our memories, our memories. Where does the time go? Does anybody know? Thank you. Second one's called The Woman Passing By. I tend to have a problem when I sit at places and I stare at people. It's just, and I just do it. <laughs> um, woman Passing By. She was pushing a stroller with little energy, young looking, was no more than 23, but dressed too old for her age. There was sadness there behind those perfectly placed sockets. She lit a cigarette and continued her stroll. I could not help but stare as she had a tenderness about her, something drawing me in, inviting me to secure this girl who presented laden with guilt. As I was just about to approach, she pulled a cell phone out and began talking. Those eyes of an underappreciated woman now had youthfulness. I wondered who was on the other end of that phone that was able to alter her look. Was it her husband, her wife, her lover, an old friend, or family member. For me, 
It was a gentle reminder that I don't get many calls like that. Thank you.